in my opinion, to coach special teams, unless you got everybody on your whole staff coaching everything, the easiest way to do it is fast. And now it takes some extra work, right? We're going to go back through practice, and I'm just giving you a, a general overview, but we're going to grade everything. So I'm going to grade every play, every player, okay, for alignment, and then his technique and his steps, basically, and then the last thing is his effort. So I'm going to grade all three of those things, all right, because at the end of practice, I want to know, one, how we're doing as a team and a unit, but two, I'm going to take a picture of that grade sheet and I'm going to send it back out to everybody, okay? And so it's hard because I know when I first started coaching fast, I hated it, right? You're just basically at practice making sure the next play is going on. Unless it's something major, you're not stopping nothing. You're flying, okay? And <clears throat> when I saw how it translated to the field at New Hampshire from an offensive perspective, meaning, right, like we led the country in scoring for like seven years in a row. It was awesome. But it was so fast that you're like, holy smokes. But what you find out is that this generation works in just straight microwave, right? They're good at fast. They're not good at slow, long, prolonged, just drawn out stuff where they got to think, okay? And so what it really does is it trains this generation to operate like they like to operate, which is, right, no communication, all fast, right, just go, 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 okay? But to do that, you got to use technology, Okay, we talked about uh, GroupMe. So I'll use GroupMe for the install. So I don't stand in front of a board ever and install anything anymore, right? And I'm going to liken it to this, and you'll hear this in the next talk a little bit, but, like, we probably got 75 people in this room, right? Every minute that I talk to you, that's 74 minutes of wasted time, right? Because I can tell you this, that whole adage that this generation will learn, if I'm talking to you, they ain't learning from it because they're not listening. They got a five-second time span right now, uh, attention span. So their attention span came down from 12 minutes 10 years ago to five seconds right now. So think about that. If I talk to him for five seconds, everybody else in this room is turned off. Okay, keep that in mind. So what do I do? I send all the installs out on GroupMe. Okay, they get it in a, it's in a group. So everybody in this room is in this group, right? So I send the install out, boom. And when I send the install out, I'm going to send questions with it. And we're going to get all this in the next one, so I'm not going to dig into it too much. Okay, so what happens is we play this game all day on GroupMe. And I don't overuse it, right? If you overuse it, you'll get killed. They'll, they'll turn it off. So I try to limit it to about eight messages a day if it's on offense or defense, three messages a day if it's on special teams, okay? So I throw that out there like that. Alex sends back five seconds, okay? So boom, he gets it, all right? If he didn't answer that in 10 minutes, then anybody in this room could come in and answer it and get a Snickers. Does that make sense? Now, for the teaching purposes in this class, I ain't, you know what I'm saying, we don't have 10 minutes to wait to see if he answers it. But Alex answered it, boom. So that's, you're going to use GroupMe to basically coach them throughout the day on, like, the way they learn, right? Five-second increments. How quick can you give it to them? How quick can they digest it? And here's the deal. Everybody in the group will watch this all the time because this is how they communicate. This is how they operate in their generation. Everybody understand that? Okay. Huddle, same thing, right? Everybody, who in here has, is on huddle? Okay. Best thing I did four years ago, Tom Rebholtz came when I went to Finley. Tom had his own huddle account. Okay. I was like, dude, what's that? He said, yo, I just got huddled. So what do you mean you got huddle? He said, I just pay the fee for the club, the club team. He said, I got my own huddle account. Okay. Best thing in the world. Literally, his whole coaching history for the last 10 years is on huddle. And instead of running around with hard drives and trying to figure everything out, all of his installs are there from everything, right? So it's super easy to do anything you want to do. Like my whole, if you wanted me to interview for defensive line right now, I just pull up the huddle. And I, and I roll because my whole defensive line package is in there. My whole special teams package is in there, okay? But more importantly for this, right, <clears throat> we all understand. Everybody use the notes, right? Basically, you just click on the share or you click on the note. You write a note in the middle. Hey, Joe, I don't say that. I'll, I'll use the number. I'll say 40, okay? Uh, right foot technique. I'll just say right foot T. And then I'll drag it to the middle of the screen because on their phones, if it's anywhere other than the middle of the screen, they won't be able to see it. 
And then, boom, I'll hit share and it'll go right to him. OK, he'll get a notification and he'll watch it. Right. He'll be like, boom. OK. My foot ain't right. Does That make sense to everybody. OK. All of this is coming back to I don't have time on the field to stop and correct number 40 on his footwork. OK. Like I said, you know, offensive and defensively, I only try to send no more than eight messages a day. Zero to eight. Zero to three on special teams. Okay. Okay. The other huge benefit about coaching off a huddle, you can go in and see exactly who's watching what and how much time they're spending on it. Okay. So if you got a guy that's making a ton of mistakes in your special teams and you go back and look at the huddle account, it says zero. That's an easy day because all you do is screenshot it and send it out and group me and you let everybody on the team take care of that guy from an accountability standpoint. Right. It won't, he won't have a zero up there very long. Because he don't want nobody to know that he ain't looking at his stuff and trying to pull his weight on the team. Does that make sense? 